time for another fragrance haul. Hi everyone, I'm Julima from Scented Moments channel where I help you to discover the amazing world of perfumery. So in this video, I want to share with you the fragrances that I added to my collection in these last couple of months. So not so long ago, actually, I did a summer fragrance haul. So see, this has the part two uh, of that haul. So basically these are the fragrances that I added to my collection after uh, I filmed that video. And I have here 13 fragrances in total uh, from designers to niche, but in the designer side are more exclusive uh, from the exclusive side of things. Um, but it was a fantastic haul. I mean, one of my favorite, one of my best hauls, I would say that, that I had actually. So, the first perfume that I want to talk about that I added to my collection is from my favorite perfume brand, Profumo Broma. And this one, is, it wasn't a love at first sniff because I found it too sweet at first, but I kind of got used to it. And now I have it, a full bottle of Aqua Zucchero. Released in 2002, I mean, this has a few years, like already over two decades. Um, this perfume is, like the name implies, is water and sugar. So this is a sugary, sweet, watery, if they make sense, perfume. This is a, a bit fruity. This is very playful, very fruity and strictly unisex. This is like pink sugar before pink sugar. It's amazing. Um, it's not scratchy. It's very rounded. It's, it's really a fantastic sweet perfume. Um, I really do love it. And it's all you get, basically. It's this sweet, fruity, watery feel. It really gives you the impression that you feel that it has like those uh, sweet flavored water. Um, it's how this for me, this fragrance, for, it's what this fragrance reminds me of. Is those water bottles that have um, different uh, tastes. Like they taste like uh, fruits, uh, watermelon or whatever. So it's how this uh, reminds, it's what this reminds me of. And it's amazing. I think it's really well done. It's not scratchy. Again, I think it's well-rounded. Yes, it is quite intense in the first uh, couple of hours. Uh, you really need to go easy on the spray because this this really projects. But after that, it really sets close to your skin. It leaves a very sensual sillage around you. I, I really love this. This is addicting. This is perfect for summer nights. But again, do not overspray this. Um, but do not use it in the high summer heat or in very warm summer nights because this this can be too much even for yourself. But nonetheless, amazing fragrance here, Aqua Zucchero by Profumo Broma. Um, the other fragrance that I added, it's from one of my favorite indie brands from Francesca Bianchi and it is Etruscan Water. What a beautiful perfume. This is already the new bottle presentation of Francesca Bianchi. Um, this fragrance is to die for. Some people say that this smells like the original formulation of Eau Sauvage by Dior. I don't know, I never smelled it, so I don't know if that statement is true or not, but what I do know is that this fragrance smells amazing. It does have like a uh, like a retro masculine feel into it, masculine scent, I want to say. It has this bergamot, it's rugged, it's rough, it's mossy. It's like a Chypre, but a Chypre with animalic qualities. Like usually Francesca Bianchi has, Francesca Bianchi fragrances have this animalic quality into them and this one also has that uh, but 
a bit more tame, not has like a dark night, uh, not dark night, dark side under my skin, which are much more animalic. This one is like citrusy. You have definitely get the bergamot. It's green, but then it's mossy. You definitely have the this orris butter resinous animalic qualities that usually are part of Francesca Bianchi uh, DNA. It's amazing, very addicting. Absolutely love this one. And this really shines during the heat but again more during the night because this is this also has a punch into it it's it's also quite intense um so i really advise you to also wear this during cooler summer days or cooler summer nights but really shines during those moments i already wore this a couple of times during in a summer night out and wow amazing but again go easy on the spray here etruscan water by francesca bianchi amazing perfume here the next fragrance this fragrance was released this year from the house of james healy a very underrated brand that i really do love i have already quite a few fragrances in my collection from james healy starting with Sacré, cardinal um Ipi rose note yuzu uh rose aria which i absolutely love that perfume and now i have this one which was released again this year and i tried this before uh, because of rich mitch shout out to you buddy rich mitch i love his youtube channel um i will link his um youtube channel in the description box down below so you can check him out i mean a fantastic channel it's uh, he has an amazing knowledge in perfumes in vintage perfumes and he's just passionate about perfumes um he does mostly live streams which i uh watch them every day uh even if i it's nowadays it's been rare when i catch him live but i always uh, see the the his uh his live uh, streams it's a uh, amazing amazing channel really love rich mitch um and so he was talking about this perfume a lot actually and he bought this and I, it got me intrigued i tried it and wow and i tried this fragrance just like uh, etruscan water by francesca bianchi just like perfume ombro macchi zucchero i tried these at embassy niche perfumery store also we'll leave the link of that store in the description box down below i don't earn anything with this it's really because ricardo who is the owner of the store he's a very good friend of mine uh we have already a long story together like we know each other since 2017 2017 and uh yeah it's been a wonderful journey uh and so it's always a pleasure to talk about his store because it's where i really got the passion for niche perfumery um so yeah uh also shout outs to embassy niche perfumery store my favorite perfume store here in lisbon and so i tried cologne officinale i don't know if this is how you pronounce officinale um but um officina i don't know uh really uh let me know in the, co in the comments down below if you know how to pronounce this uh the name of this perfume but this is the latest um, fragrance by Healy. And this is basically, this is a very simple perfume. This, for me, smells like a dry bar of soap. Literally, it's how this smells like. Amazing. It's amazing. Oh, it's really dry bar of soap. The best way. Not soapy. It doesn't have that soapy quality like you are when you are washing your hands and you get the foam into your hand no it's not that it's really a dry bar of soap is how this smells like amazing you have the lavender you have the clary sage you have rosemary in here and you also have french soap accord which completely makes sense um, but for me the image that i uh, get is really and you also have oak moss but it's really a luxury whatever that means bar of soap dry bar of soap amazing and it lasts i mean this thing lasts on my skin at least to be honest my girlfriend is not a huge fan of this one <laughs> unfortunately for her this smells like those uh old soaps in the bathroom that leave the smell but really those 
old soaps uh, f um, of an old bathroom that leave like a, a scent just to uh, cover the bad smell, the mold smell. It's not a nice image, but I absolutely love this perfume. It was Love at First Sniff and I completely agree with Rich Mitch. This is one of my favorite, one of the best releases of this year, also in my opinion. Check this one out if you have yet to. Colonna Ficinale by James Healy. And overall, this is a brand that you really need to get uh, your nose on if you have yet to. Now, the other um, two fragrances that I added to my collection, it's also from one of my favorite uh, perfume brands, Zerzhov. Now, Zerzhov is, although it's very popular and it has a cult follow, um, but it's still a bit controversial within the, within the fragrance community. I mean, some people really love it, other people really hate it. So, I mean, it's really um, love it or hate it type of, type of brand. I personally love Zerzhov and actually the brand really never gave me any full bottles so all the bottles that i have it i purchased myself um so these two fragrances that i have here from zerjev are both from the oud stars collection and they are malaysia and ceylon amazing perfumes here uh i would say both very underrated from Zerzhov. So Malaysia, when compared, these are two, of course, two oud fragrances. Although this one here is a bit lighter on the oud. It's interesting. This one, if I would say, this is like, um, I would not say like a niche version of oud wood, but because this is not really a clone of oud wood, I don't see it. I found other fragrances from niche brands that are more close to wood wood than this one but for you to have an idea this for me is like a uh imagine like a typical uh mainstream wood uh, however the wood here is a bit more amped up and so it's deeper it's richer but still having a likability into it it's a bit animalic it's a bit animalic but it's still likable um, at least to my nose, I guess that if you're not even a fan of wood, you will find this very challenging. It's not for me though. I find that this one is a bit softer. It has uh, depth. It's, it has animalic qualities, but it's still versatile. I absolutely love this one. This was love at first sniff, Malaysia. And then you have Ceylon. Ceylon, guys, <laughs> amazing, intoxicating, animalic raw oud it's ceylon wow absolutely mind-blowing I, I love oud oh yeah Th this resinous it has also like a chocolatey feeling to it animalic oud oh man it's i absolutely love ceylon it is so good so good it's just fantastic i love ceylon I, I i love these two um these two alcott and alexandria i think they are the best from this oud collection because you also have mamluk mamluk is okay you, you have the caramel is like caramel oud it's okay but it's very soft on my skin very f it's it's okay it smells nice. I mean, if you like oud, it's it's a nice oud, but I, I will not purchase myself. I think it's not full bottle worthy. Um, you have a few others that I uh, I am now forgetting, but uh, I would say that these are definitely my favorites: uh, Malaysia, Ceylon, Alexandria too, and the flankers. I, I love them, and also Alcat. These are my favorites from this uh, oud collection. I mean. Wow, I'm an oud lover. I have all type of ouds, and uh, I think these are two fantastic additions to my collection. Check them out if you have yet to. If you want a more versatile oud, check out Malaysia. I think it's very underrated. If you want a more raw, pungent, animalic, resinous oud, Ceylon is the way to go. Now, 
the uh, other fragrances that I have here and I, I will not do any stops here but the other fragrance that I added it's also from one of my favorite perfume brands which is Amouage and this is from the feminine from the woman side of things which is for me perfume knows no gender uh, so uh, this for me is strictly unisex and I actually do prefer this one than the men's um, perfume from Amouage because usually Amouage always release a duo one for man and another for woman um this was released like a couple of years ago and since day one i wanted this fragrance to my collection and this one is amouage material so happy to have a full bottle of this perfume this beautiful perfume created by cecile zerroquin which is one of my favorite perfumers currently uh amouage material is oh vanilla heaven oh wow vanilla with incense with myrrh this is labdanum i mean this is beautiful this is a a this has an amouage quality it's like the traditional amouage perfume but with a sweet vanilla to tame the beast a lot of uh, a lot of people compare this actually with grand soir by uh maison francis courtien which i absolutely love and a lot of people compare this fragrance with grand soir i can see slightly the similarity slightly i can see that sweet ambery um similarity between in here material when in comparing with the grand soir so i can see that sweet amberiness in here that you can find in grand soir. but this is definitely more complex this definitely has more layers because grand soir, i absolutely love it for me it's one of my favorite amber perfumes it's like a fluffy uh delicate ambery scent sweet ambery fragrance but it's very silky it's very uh, and fluffy at the same time it's really like you're touching the clouds uh it's it's really what uh, and it's very romantic it's one of the most romantic perfumes that i ever smelled francois this one is a bit more intense now what i actually found in here in material that i did not found before it's the vanilla the vanilla actually reminds me a bit of the vanilla used in nishanez ani which makes sense because they are both created by Cécile Zerroquin. So Nishane Annie, the perfumeur of Annie from Nishane, is Cécile Zerroquin. So makes sense that this also shares some similarities with Annie. So for me, this is more... Uh, yes, it has a hint of Grand Soir, but it also has a vanilla nuance of Annie with the amouage resins and incense amazing perfume very mysterious very addicting um and it smells like an amouage scent i would say yes a bit more mainstream not as daring as some of their other offerings but this for me still smells like amouage and for example boundless which is like the men's version it's too designery in my opinion it's more of a tobacco scent like a sweet tobacco fragrance but it smells designery i mean it doesn't have that fragrance for sure does not have amouage quality in my opinion of course this one on the other hand it has amouage material a beautiful perfume that i will definitely wear in the upcoming fall and winter time but especially in the fall in the fall period i think it's where i will be wearing the most of this perfume homage material now the other two perfumes that i added to my collection these are both from the same indie brand which i also absolutely love papillon and i have already anubis and um what is the name of the other one which is a gourmand friend said now i'm forgetting um yeah i'm really forgetting the name of that perfume but it's like a sweet 
um, a sweet cinnamony vanillic with a like a bread feel into it it's a delicious gourmand perfume and now I have these two also which I absolutely love and these are tobacco rose and dryad or dryad or dryad <laughs> so tobacco rose and dryad I will just call this as uh, dryad um, two beautiful perfumes very different from each other though tobacco rose of course has a name implies has tobacco and rose now this for me it's like uh, tobacco leaves with a silky rose leaves oh so good so damn good it's the rose here it's so realistic really rose petals what I want to say rose petals with tobacco leaves oh it has also an underlying sweetness in here but it's very mild perfect for fall perfect for fall the other one Driad completely different here so this fragrance is a Chypre and boy what a Chypre oh, intoxicating a green mossy pasty uh, fragrance with Chypre quality so you have the bergamot you have the the oak moss you have uh, the labdanum it's warm it has a warmness in here but it's not cold definitely not cold but it's it has this green mossy pastiness that i absolutely love but it's a very smooth perfume very smooth oh, fantastic i mean if you like um chanel number no. 19 for example i think you will definitely love this one now i'm not saying that this smells like chanel number no. number 19 no it doesn't because chanel number number 19 it's colder it's more floral although it's beautiful one of the best perfumes ever created uh especially for me the best green fragrance ever but here this one shares similarities in a way that it's very strong in the, in the galbanum very green very mossy but it's not as floral and definitely not cold as number 19. I'll, however, because these are in the same cath category, if you love one, I think you will definitely appreciate the other. Driad, a high quality perfume here. And in general, I am in love with this house. I mean, the other fragrance that I'm considering, I mean, I don't know if I will ever have a full bottle of, which is Salome. Because Salome, it's so harsh. I mean, it's so loud, so animalic that, I mean, although I do appreciate the, um, the artistic side of it, I mean, it's just, I, I don't see myself wearing it. Um, so I, I don't know if I would ever uh, buy a full bottle of that perfume, but Dryad, Tobacco Rose, Anubis, and the other one that I, I am still forgetting the name. <laughs> Um, they are definitely my favorites. I, I still have to smell Spell 125 Era um, because those two were released more recently. I still did not try them, but these four are top notch, top, top notch. The other three perfumes, it's uh, also from a indie brand that I love discovering at Essence this year. Um, and it's Mel Fuccini. Wow. His fragrances are amazing. Very complex, original, uh, and they really take you to a journey. And that, that itself is very rare nowadays. And I already have three <laughs> because they are that good. I, of course, I will not, I don't like all of them, but the ones that I tried so far, these three are definitely my favorites i still have a couple that i would like to add but i mean i will share them uh, at the same time so the first one is odor 93 i mean and the bottles are amazing very heavy actually and these are uh this is a 100 ml bottle all of them are parfum concentrations so performance is not an issue so one is odor 93 the other one is little song 
I love the name, Little Song. And the other one, which was released this year, and it was Love at First Sniff at Essence, is Sony. Wow. Dream. Um, now, th this was not given for... Any of these were given to me. Not at all. I purchased myself. So, uh, there's that. Um, because I really do love this brand. Um, I'm really in love with... Mel Fucini creations are uh, all very different from each other. So, for example, Little Song is roasted coffee, for me at least. It's like roasted coffee, rose, cacao. Wow. Amazing. So, so well done. A realistic roasted coffee. It has like a, even that powderiness uh, of coffee with the most beautiful, delicate red rose cacao underneath. I mean, has patchouli as well. What a beautiful, romantic scent. Oh, man. So deep, so dense, but at the same time, so delicate. Amazing. Odor 93, I would say that it's the strongest of the three. Why? Because of the two rows. This is the perfume that it's making me appreciate tuberose more and more. This one and Fougère Amoureux by Les Indemodables are the two fragrances that are really uh, making me appreciate tuberose. And this tuberose here, it's wow, loud, powerful, opulent tuberose with tobacco, like dried tobacco. Amazing. Absolutely amazing so well done and doesn't smell old doesn't smell like a old lady uh, doesn't smell like a or old school no it's really modern but it's really like a retro fragrance but to be worn in the present absolutely beautiful intoxicating fragrance um amazing amazing perfume here and the one that i am currently wearing the most because even Sony, for, uh, not Sony, a little song, I see that more for the fall. Definitely screams fall. Older, I think it's even winter because it's that loud and big and full. This one, on the other hand, I feel that it's the most versatile of the three that I have so far. And Sony. So released this year as well. One of my favorite releases already. Sony is, uh, it captivates... Mel Fuccini's journey or travel into Japan. So you have Rice Accord, you have a Rice, I think it's even Rice Absolute Accord. Um, you have Incense, of course, uh, and you have much other, many other notes here. So here the end result is really a cinnamony to my nose. It's like a sweet cinnamony with rice, definitely rice, with incense. It's amazing. And it's so comforting. Um, and it, this is very versatile. I think you can wear this during the entire year. It lasts forever, but it's not loud, let's say. It, ha it leaves a nice sea ash. Actually, my girlfriend really loves this one on me. Because it has an, uh, it's very addicting, and the same because of uh, this sweet cinnamony creaminess with rice and incense. Very, very unique. I never smelled any perfume like this before. Amazing. Uh, it's very well balanced, very complex, very deep, very rich, and it has still a uh, calming effect. At least on me, it has definitely. Sony, Mel Fuccini, uh, Little Song, um, this is older, 93, and Little Song, I think it's here, yes, here it is, beautiful perfumes, and these are very heavy, heavy bottles, actually, and uh, this brand overall, it's, I really advise you to check it out, because you will definitely, will set yourself in a perfume journey. Now, finally, this is the, my... Uh, the creme de la creme of this haul. This is the crown jewels 
of uh, this haul and in general of my collection. This line of roll, Chanel list exclusives. I have two. Uh, and I will do, of course, I will do my next video will be about my top 10 favorite Chanel list exclusive perfumes. And these two will definitely be featured there. And these are Bois des Iles and Bel Respiro. Two beautiful perfumes. Um, Bois des Iles, I mean, doesn't need any introduction. One of the best sandalwood fragrances ever. With a lot of ylang ylang, uh, lots of alahides. The this perfume, the, the sandalwood used in here, it's, it has similarities with Egoist, also from the same brand. But this one is more versatile than Egoist in a way that the floral aspects in here, like the, the Lang Lang, which actually I'm not a huge fan of, but here works to perfection, really enlights that spicy sandalwood and also with the help of alahides that creates a very bubbly effervescent uh feel into it i absolutely love bois des i mean and then bel respiro which i think it's more underrated bel respiro which is a beautiful green perfume um again if you like chanel number 19 i think this one is definitely a must try to say the least Although it doesn't have the iris, but oh, this one here, it's more soapy, more clean, uh, fresh green scent. This really smells really like a fresh cut grass with a soapy quality. And in the, here it's not bar of, dry bar of soap, it's really a soapy quality, like clean, soapy, green fragrance amazing amazing perfume here i mean if you want to see a review of bel respiro check out eugene from you smells good he did one of the best reviews of a perfume that i ever seen in youtube i will leave the link of that video in the description box down below because it's really worth it. and it's actually eugene it's the reason why i tried bel respiro and why i have a full bottle because it's really that good i love green fragrances so you definitely need to like green fragrances, green fresh fragrances to appreciate the beauty of Bel Respiro. Even if you don't like green fragrances, maybe Bel Respiro will be the reason why you will start to love green fragrances. So really give a try to Bel Respiro and also give a try to Bois des Iles because I mean, two beautiful masterpieces in my opinion. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, which is already very long. If you find value in this video, hit the like button because it would really uh, help this channel to grow even more and see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Ciao.